Hello, John Birch for Dentime, and today I'm going to make a brief video showing you the functionality of the Dentime dashboard. Now, what's important to realize is the whole purpose of this is to produce this value right here, which is the periodontal health quotient, abbreviated as PHQ, and here you see that it's 9.5%. 9.5% is between 0 and 10, and so the dashboard specifies a six-month recall being rec recommended. It actually computes the days of your recall to be 189 days, and so uh, and additionally 6.30 months. So this is interesting, but simply put, it specifies a six-month recall. Now let's look over here and see a couple of the variables. One is numbers of teeth. We set this at 28 to start with. Let's lower it down to 24. Notice the periodontal health quotient goes up. The reason is if you have the same values under fewer teeth, then the ratio would be a bigger number. What happens over here on this part is that the recall interval changes to four months rather than six. And down here, the medical risk went from low to medium. Let's go over here and say that we have bleeding upon scaling. Let's say there's 10 teeth that bled upon scaling. Now we're at 22%. 22 is between 20 and 30, and the recall interval is now 3, average 3. In, actual, in actuality, is 2.7, but it rounds up to 3. Medical risk is high. Let's go here and make this leading upon scaling more severe. And we're going to give it a severity of 5. Now we're at 22, 29. And we're going to say that visible tartar was, a, um, visible tartar here was, let's say, 10. Now we're at 40. 40 specifies that we're over 30% where scaling and root planning would be required or if the person declined scaling and root planning, the digital recall would be 1.49 months, 1.49, or 45 days. The whole point of the dashboard is you can compute the recall interval to within one day. And what does this do for the patient? They see what they have as a potential risk urgent medical risk, high, medium, or low, and then once you do the treatment, whether you put them on a shorter recall or do SRP, now you can monitor them and graph and chart them every single visit when they come in. If they stay in the 20 to 30 range, then they're three-monthers. If they can get the number down to 10 to 20, they become four-monthers, and if they get under 10%, it's six months. So I'm going to return this now to our base numbers that we always leave it at, which is 28 teeth. Okay, here we go. So you see how it works? You just go and scroll down. Two points of bleeding. Severity, we're going to leave that at zero. Pocketing, uh, mobility, and visible tartar, we're going to leave that at two. And we're back to 9.5. So that's the video. Over here, you'll see there are forms, charts, patient instructions, other videos, resources, doctor's instructions, insurance claim information, and a way to contact us. And the last thing I would want to say about this is that patients love it. It's insurable. They want to know what their number is. And when you do the chart, each time they come in, you redo the chart and you get to see where they are and they will become addicted to shorter recalls. And the way this helps your practice is that you're actually doing more cleanings and more people are coming in on a shorter interval and you're also able to charge for this particular evaluation and the charting. So I want to close this out. We're going to stop it. We're going to see if we can upload this to uh, YouTube. It looks like it's about five minutes, so let's see if I can stop it.